Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 25, Area of Rectilinear Figures, Exercise 25C, Question 4. It is a parallelogram, has a length of 15 cm and a height of 20 cm. It is divided into two congruent triangles. What is the area of each triangle, right? So at first, you might not be able to understand this question, but if you draw the figures, you can see that, suppose this is my parallelogram, okay? And what I am doing in this, this part is my height, okay? This dotted line is the height of this parallelogram. And this is of how much? 20 centimeters. So it is 20 centimeters long. Now see, it is saying it has length of 15 centimeters. So I'll take my length, this 15 centimeters here, right? And it is a parallelogram. So this opposite side will also be 15 centimeters. Now it is saying it is divided into two congruent triangles. So only way we can divide a parallelogram into triangles, not only, but see a way in which we can divide it is by constructing the diagonals in a parallelogram. So by diagonals, I mean connecting two opposite points. So let's join two non adjacent points, right? So let's join these, this point and this point to get what? The diagonal. This diagonal you can see is dividing my parallelogram into this one, this triangle and this triangle. You can make one more here if you feel like, but try to understand it this way only. And see, from this base, I will take one height, right? So no matter what your height, from what base you are taking, but your height will always be same. If this is my base, then this will be 20 centimeters and this 15 centimeters same here, this will is 20 centimeters. But if you will take it from here and here you might get the different height, right? But if you're taking the same opposite sides that are equal, then your height is going to be 20 centimeters. So see, it is saying it is divided into two congruent triangles. What does congruent triangle means? Congruent triangle means two identical triangles, right? It can be through the sides, through the angles, right? But it is identical with each other in the uh, dimensions, right? And if all the dimensions are identical, then the area will also be the same. That means area of this triangle will be that of this triangle, same thing, right? So what it is saying for is the area of each triangle. Now out of these two, if I can find area of any of the two triangles, then I will get the area of each triangle because that will be the area of the other one as well. So very simple, see area of triangle is equal to half into base into height. This formula we will be using for uh, this question. So we will have what? See, half into, take any triangle, let's take this one, all the conditions I have, just solve, nothing else. See, base you have 15, so one by two into 15 now. Height also you have got here, what? 20, so into 20 solves this so you have what one this is 10 so this is coming out to be 150 square centimeters and that's your answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye, -bye.